Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation. We have the square root of 28 plus the square root of 63 divided by the square root of 35. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x to the power of 2. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. Now, we can express the square root of 28. This is the same thing as the square root of 4 multiplied by 7, then plus the square root of 63. This can be expressed as the square root of 9 multiplied by 7 divided by square root of 35, which you can express as the square root of 7 times 5. This is equal to 25 to the power of x squared. The next step is that the square root of 4 times 7 as well as the square root of 9 times 7 and square root of 7 times 5 this is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b which we can express as the square root of a multiplied by square root of b now let's apply this property so that now in the numerator we have the square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 7 plus the square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 7 everything here divided by square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 5 this is equal to 25 to the power of x squared now the square root of 7 is common here so we can factor out square root of 7 so that now into the parentheses, we have the square root of 4 plus the square root of 9. Cross the parentheses, this is divided by square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 5. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. The next step is that square root of 7 and square root of 7 simplifies so that now in the numerator here we have the square root of 4 which is 2 plus square root of 9 which is 3 so we have 2 plus 3 divided by square root of 5 this is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared the next step from here this is 2 plus 3 and this is 5 divided by square root of 5 this is equal to 25 x squared now the next step from here we have the that is the square root of 5 in the denominator here so we need to rationalize the denominator so this implies that we have 5 divided by square root of 5 Rationalizing the denominator here means that we multiply the denominator by square root of 5 and also the numerator by square root of 5. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. Now, square root of 5 times square root of 5, this is in the form of square root of a multiplied by square root of a. And this essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. Now since the square root of a times square root of a is equal to a, this implies that here we have 5 multiplied by square root of 5 divided by square root of 5 times square root of 5. This is equal to 5 and this is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. The next step is we can simplify 5 and 5 here, so that now we have the square root of 5. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. The next step is that we can express 25. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2. So let's substitute this. So here we have the square root of 5. This is equal to 5 to the power of 2 then raised to the power of x squared now 
we have the, the square root of 5. This is in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half. Now, applying this property, then here we have 5 to the power of a half. This is equal to 5 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of x squared. The next step is that 5 to the power of 2, the power of x squared, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Now, applying this exponent property, then this means that here we have 5 to the power of a half. This is equal to 5 to the power of 2, x to the power of 2. Now, we note that here, the bases are common here. That is now a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m. So we have here a half. This is equal to 2x to the power of 2. We can multiply both signs by 2, so that now, here we have 1, this is equal to 4, x to the power of 2. So let's divide here by 4, and also here by 4, and this implies that x squared, this is equal to 1 over 4. So we can solve for the value of x here. Let's introduce a square root on both sides. So we have the square root of x squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4. Now, this implies that here we can recognize the square root sign. So that now x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4, which is a half. So we have two values of x a. We have two values of x. Now we have two values of x a. We have x1 is equal to a half. And we have that x2 is equal to minus a half. So the next step from here is to verify. Is to verify that x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that the square root of 28 plus the square root of 63 divided by square root of 35. This is supposed to give us a value of 25 raised to the power of x squared. Now, we reduce this equation to square root of 5. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. Now, let's start with x1, which is a half. So we have x1, in this case, is equal to a half. Now, we can express the square root of 5. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of a half. This is equal to 25, which is 5 to the power of 2. Then this to the power of a half raised to the power of 2. So remember that 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of a half raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Now, applying this property, then here this means we have 5 to the power of a half. Let's check if this is equal to 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of a half raised to the power of 2 this is the same thing as 1 over 4 now we can simplify here 4 divided by 2 this is equal to 2 and this implies that 5 to the power of a half this is equal to 5 to the power of a half and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add 
side. Now that means that x1, which is a half, satisfies the equation. So let's take x2, which is minus a half, if this satisfies the equation. So we have the square root of 5. This is equal to 25 raised to the power of x squared. So square root of 5, this is the same thing as 5 to the power of a half. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 2. Then raised to the power of minus a half raised to the power of 2. Now here we have minus a half to the power of 2. Minus a half raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 1 over 4. And therefore, we have that 5 to the power of a half. This is supposed to be equal to 5 to the power of 2. Then raised to the power of 1 over 4. So this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And this implies that on the left hand side, we have 5 to the power of a half. This should be equal to 5 to the power of 2 times 1 over 4. This means that here, 4 divided by 2, this is 2, and we have a half. So this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right and side. And this implies also that x2, which is equal to minus a half, also satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.